my loves and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here yes I have a different color hair I went a little bit darker and a little bit red just for fun um, but today is foundation Friday and I have a brand new foundation that just launched by Derma Blend that I can't wait to show you so before we get started hit the subscribe button share this video with somebody you think might like it and let's do it all right what do you guys think it's so fun it's a lot redder on camera than it actually is in like real life I don't know why that is but anyway okay so let's do this. Um, this is a brand new launch from Dermablend and it is called their CC Cream Continuous Correction Full Coverage CC uh, Cream Sunscreen. Okay, so first of all, it does have SPF 50 in it, but please, we all know by now that we're not gonna rely on our foundation for SPF. So I do already have the Josie Moran Tinted SPF on. That's what I have on the skin right now. Okay, this just came in PR by the way. Okay, so what this says is this coverage, it's coverage best for covering um, acne prone skin, hyperpigmentation, redness, discoloration, and dark spots. And it has good for you ingredients like vitamin E, niacinamide, and it is tested to visibly improve skin's radiant, uh, radiance. And the benefits is that it says it's clinically tested to uh, visibly improve skin's radiance after four weeks. I'm not quite sure uh, how that test was done. It says results based on expert grading in a four-week clinical trial. So, I mean, it's nice that actually they went this extra mile to show that. Um, up to 24-hour color wear. Uh, obviously broad spectrum SPF, free radical defense, so that means it has antioxidants in it, obviously. And then it's just formulated with niacinamide and a word that I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, it's cruelty free and it's formulated without fragrance, so that's awesome if that's really important to you. Parabens, phthalates, oils, uh, or SLSs. So, that's it. I love the little uh, thing they, they put here because it looks so natural. Okay, so... Um, I'm in 30N, and that's actually because my hair is different. If my hair was blonde, I would be in a little bit dark, uh, lighter color. It just for the eye, it, it, it washes me out with a darker color hair. So it's fun to play with different colors. So um, I don't have a primer on. I'm not going to use a primer for this. So they do call this a CC cream, but I want to let you know that's not the typical verbiage for CC cream. This is, just means continuous correction. So it's just for uh, skin that has some uh, dots and blemishes and hyperpigmentation on it. So that's what that means. So I'm going to use it on my trusty elf brush. The reason being is because for most Dermablend foundations, which I love almost all of them and their concealer, um, I use brushes with them. Just, it, just for me, this brand is a better use for brushes. But I have used my fingers. I have used my um, Beauty Blender Dry and Wet, and they all are good uh, options for this foundation. Now, if you want this to be a little more sheared out, obviously go in with a very damp uh, or a very lightly damp beauty sponge. Okay, so it comes in a squeezy tube, which is nice, a little bit on the brush, and I just kind of tap it around the face, just like so. And this is a full coverage, you guys. This is not, um, you know, this is not a, a light coverage foundation. You obviously can make it be so with uh, the application technique, which we just talked about, but it is a full coverage foundation with very little product, okay? And I just want to show you, that is very little. I gave just a little tiny squeeze, and look how much it covered. Uh, I know that recently I've just been loving the foundations I've been trying, and uh, but this is with no exception. It is just so beautiful. And again, brush for me all the way with this foundation. And I use, I would say if I was to compare it to pumps of foundation, I would say I use like a pump or like a little bit more than a pump. I'm just adding on just a little bit more right here where I have some discoloration. And I do sweep this gently under the eye just real quickly. It's very light. It's also like, it's almost watery feeling in a way that is still cream-like. I know that's hard to explain. Like, Kind of understand but that's just what it is it's very lightweight it's extremely fast and it really does a nice job of covering up everything and that's really it i love this foundation so far 
it has, has a really nice shift to the skin. Do you see how it's still, obviously I've prepped my skin with a more luminous base, so it is gonna give that to it because it is a natural finish. It is not a matte, it is not a, a luminous, it is a natural finish. So you can adjust the finish of this foundation by what you put underneath it. But look at that. I just think it's so beautiful and it does not look cakey or like makeup at all. Now, of course, we're gonna go to natural light. We are gonna give it a wear test and I have stuff to do with my daughter today and I have to wear a mask, so we'll see if it's transfer resistant. And I'm just using just a touch more to see or to show you guys, just that you can build it up ever so slightly in the places that you need. Yeah. Do, do, do. All right, so this is one of my favorite foundations they've come out with. My other favorite foundation is the liquid one. It's literally like a, uh, it's pure pigment. It's beautiful, and I forget what it's called, but it's been around for a while, and you, I have a Foundation Friday on it. But here we are, so this is what it looks like on the skin. Gorgeous, full coverage, feels extremely lightweight. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna use their concealer for this, and I'm gonna do my brows and the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. Um, but before we do that, I am gonna let you know that I am going to set this foundation, not because it absolutely has to, but just because I wanna give it a little bit more long wearing capability. So I am going to set this with the Kosas Cloud Powder that I normally use. So here it is before, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, party people, so here is everything on. So what I noticed is, what I did was, applied the Kosas Cloud Cream, which I told you about already. Um, but I tapped it in with a rather large brush. This is the BK Beauty. I've been loving it for powder recently. It's the 105 BK Beauty brush. And it is, what I did was I basically tapped it in like this, and then I tapped it all over the face. But what it did was it gave me a lot more coverage out of that powder than I've actually ever really gotten. So for me, it is, it kind of ended up being a touch matte. So, which it doesn't really matter because it's hot, it's gonna be hot here soon and it's gonna get dewy and glowy anyway. But I just wanted to show you kind of how this looks when you do powder it. I think it's beautiful. It definitely is a full coverage foundation, but I, what I normally would do is I'm using the Pure, it's called Haze Mist, it's by the company Pure. And I'm just gonna give it a little, one of these guys, just because I me. <laughs> And I need it to be a little more glowy off the bat, okay? So this is it. Let's go into natural light. Let's show you what it looks like on my phone in 4K. All right, see you guys soon. All right, All right. you guys, here it is in natural light. Um, it's on my phone, and I'm actually in a new environment for natural light uh, because the seasons have changed, so my room is getting some more light. Um, but this is what it looks like. I mean, this is real life. Yes, I have a little bit of cream highlighter on right here, um, but that is basically it. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It definitely, I will tell you in advance, it is pretty long wearing, so we're going to see how many hours of wear that at least I can get out of it uh, because I have a tendency not to wear my foundation for so, so, so long. Um, but Let's see what it goes, you know, see how it looks throughout the day. Obviously do check-ins like I normally do, and we'll check it out at the end. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're back in carpool line. Um, this is only two hours of wear, and so I just wanted to show you. It's looking exactly the same. Um, this foundation just doesn't move uh, very quickly as others do. So we'll give it a few more hours, and we'll check back in. All right, so this is a total of six hours of wear. I, like I say in everything, I don't usually wear foundation for a lot longer than this, but look how good it looks at six hours. I could easily get, I don't know, another three, four hours of wear. I actually also have worn a mask quite a bit today from the do, out doing stuff. So it really didn't move very much. Only thing I will say is that I do, and I have noticed that this area right here does get a touch dry uh, just with wear. So for me, I have to kind of keep this area a little more hydrated. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? You guys gonna try this foundation? I think it's gorgeous. It's definitely a fuller coverage. So if you're not a full coverage girl, then this is not something for you unless you wanna like dilute it and you know do the things we talked about in the beginning. But I think it's gorgeous. Again, it's really stayed in place and I'm happy to have it when I want a full coverage day. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section and I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love for me to you. Bye loves.